Well, guess what? After, must have been a year, I've been, I lost, it. actually it's only a few months, I lost the hard drive on this computer. Uh, reinstalled. Put in a new hard drive, tried reinstalling eSword on a Linux system, and I just couldn't. No matter what I tried, it just wouldn't work. But I finally figured it out, and guess what? Anyway, I, I got this uh, installed on a new system, and uh, I got it installed with uh, Ubuntu... Uh, Man, for a second here, these things were popping up and, and showing little windows. Now they don't want to seem to work with that, but I suppose restart it. Maybe it's just because I'm recording and it doesn't want to play with the recorder. Anyway, I uh, got the King James. Oh, there we go. See, it's just a little slow. Uh <clears throat> I got the King James Plus that shows the Strong's, got the Strong's Dictionary, got everything working on here. The only thing that's not working is the topic notes, but I haven't restarted it. But, you know, this is only happening as I'm recording, so obviously these two programs are not getting along. Anyway, we're going to take a look at how I did it, and it's just going to technically amaze you. I got eSword on here. I got the Word on here. <clears throat> so I got two Bible programs that I can run pretty easily, and they are rather consistent. But <clears throat> when you want to install it on a Linux system, and this is okay for Windows too, it's pretty much the same. But you hit, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to uh, tell you what you got to. You got to download, play on Linux. Uh, and also you got to download wine and download wine tricks. I think most people already know what that is, but you got to play on Linux. You hit the, I want to install a program. It's going to open up a window. You want to click on, actually, if you, if you search in here, and it'll show eSword, but it won't do anything. <laughs> I tried it. Three, four times. Anyway, you want to install a non listed program. And of course, this thing is not cooperating now. Okay, it pops up. You can read this if you want. You hit the next. For some reason, these windows are not cooperating either. It's amazing how half this stuff doesn't work when I'm recording. Okay, you want to install a program in a new virtual drive, right? Okay, simple. So you just leave that check, hit the next. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, e-delete, and you'll see it'll it'll rename it eSort anyway, but that way I'll know which one to delete. Okay, it, it, as it explains, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, just, just uh, leave these unchecked. So you leave them unchecked. Here's the important part. I tried 64 bits and it didn't work, and then I tried 32 bit Windows installation and it did work. So you can try the 64 bit with me, the 32 bit works. Now you just click the next, and you can see the Wine Boot Executive. Wine is working. So Wine is working, it's creating this virtual drive on uh, your hard drive and it'll call it C colon whatever. So it takes about a minute and then it'll ask what file you want to install. So you just click on that. I've got these things saved uh, in my other location, call it 4 eSword. I've got, I've, I've, I've tried this a dozen times. I found out that the uh, eleven dot one dot zero, you can will work, and also the uh, ten point zero point seven will work. So you can just pick either one of these. I've already got the O uh, seven installed. I'll go with the uh, ten. All you gotta do is click on it. Hit OK, 
hit the next and it'll pop up oh success the wizard popped up okay and then this is just like installing eSword on one on Windows so you just hit the next uh, this thing doesn't want to I'll just move it over you got to hit the I accept uh, it's going to install it on a C program files uh, eSword so you hit the next and then uh, all you gotta do is hit the install and it takes about a minute but well, let me open up my browser here. I'll show you what I did. I searched eSword download 10.0.7 and guess what I came up with? Uh, these, these, if you go to eSword, you're gonna get the latest one. I haven't got the latest one to uh, work. You might have a better chance, I mean, these it all depends on what system you're using and everything else. It seems a little quirky. But you go to eSword where you see the eSWordInformer.com. You can hit the eSword 10.0 download free. And here you go at 10.04.0. It should work. So you just uh, hit the download on there. And if you hit the download, it'll come up. And it'll actually have a 9.9 .9 that you can download. But this one that you're downloading is actually the, uh, uh, see, this is the one I downloaded, set up uh, 1007.exec. That's the one you want to download, okay? So you just download that. Actually, the 9.9 .9 probably should work, but you download that. And you're pretty much on your way to getting your eSword reinstalled on your Linux system. And I'm going to just get back to this play on Linux. And guess what? This thing is not showing. Oh, okay. i got to click on this one for the install. Once it's done, you just click on the finish. It'll pop up. Hit this little donate button. Uh, you gotta, you gotta give. Oh, I forgot his name. <laughs> anyway, uh, he pretty much uh, has a ministry to where he supplies, keeps eSword up to date, uh, has all kinds of stuff to it and everything else. So you want to hit that. You want to donate, and uh, then all you gotta do is after you hit that this this little window that you got to find it'll actually have an e this is this is choosing your shortcuts this is going to show a little shortcut thing so uh i actually gave it a different name so it's going to have this e delete on the end and there you go that's it. That's all you need to do. It's going to go around. It's going to ask you, you want to make another shortcut? No, I don't want to make another shortcut. You hit the next. That window disappears. You click on here. Then all you need to do is hit this run button. But I've already got an eSword running, so I'm not going to hit the run button. You hit the run button. It takes about two minutes to start up, so just be patient. Uh... I just put in a new uh, Samsung uh, hard drive that's it's not the rotary type, what do they call it, but uh, solid state. So this thing's a lot quicker. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to uninstall this in, in, in case you uh, messed around on something. You, you, you might want to hit this uninstall. And it's going to ask you, to really want to uninstall? You hit the next. It uninstalls it. Yep. Delete that whole thing. So that whole system and everything that was written on there. Now, <clears throat> one more thing. Uh, what you got to do is you got to find two things on your Linux system. Number one, 
this is where your eSword folder is located underneath the home play on Linux, WinePress, eSword, Drive C, program files, eSword. Okay, so this is where your Bibles and all your other stuff is stored. Now, I know you all saved your 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 setup and all your Bibles and all your stuff from your eSword when you're using it on Windows. So you can make a backup of that stuff, store it. I, I mean, I got it stored in like four different places. So you just do a search for eSword. It'll show you all the places where eSword is located. See all these folders I got. And I even got one for the uh, 1007. So basically what you do is you open up those folders I just uh, clicked on what I wanted to copy but you can copy and paste all of this stuff in from from your your backup I got mine in documents for eSword and then I just call it eSword and then put it into your uh, play on Linux drive eSword and when you have all of this stuff done and put in there you click on your your you got to shut down your eSword and restart it. And once you restart it, you got all your different Bibles up here. And you're ready to go. And uh, your topic notes should start. It'll probably be up there next time I restart it. And you got your TSK. I, I used to be a, a seven-day Adventist, so don't hold that against me. Uh, the main theme there is used to be. So basically, I learned a lot of stuff. And learn a lot about what not to do so you know life's a learning experience here you go you got eSword uh, it's either the 10.0.7 uh, or the 11.1.0 uh, so it's the 1007 or the 1110 that'll work so I hope this helps you out and uh, hey, tune in to the channel because I got great tech stuff on a whole bunch of stuff coming up. So uh, if you want to stay informed, yeah, go ahead, stay informed.